Is it finally focused? <laughs> yeah, okay. We're starting this vlog off kind of pissy. So basically I filmed a nice clip of me updating earlier today with my nice bookshelves, with the nice lighting, so then the thumbnails doesn't look too yellow. And then I go back and look at it because I'm going to edit today's vlog. Well, not today's vlog, but I'm going to edit like today's part of the weekly vlog. What's my cat doing? I don't know. And it's all, the audio is so screwed up and I've been ha like today, I don't know what it is with my camera today, but it's pissing me off right now. It took me like 10 minutes just to focus this clip. So after this clip, you'll um, hear a little haul and like an update, but basically just so you know, I'm listening to the audiobook of Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco at the moment. I'm liking it so far and I'm about almost halfway through at this point. But like before this clip, I was like a quarter. So yeah, next clip. Hey guys, so it is much later. It's about eight o'clock now that I'm updating you. Um, basically my audiobook, I did listen to a pretty big chunk of it today. I was listening at, at two times the speed for a few hours. So very happy about that. Um, and I got a lot of stuff done with that as well. So I'm hoping to finish it either probably tomorrow or Wednesday I'm gonna aim for. I don't wanna rush myself push myself too too much but I also want to show you guys just something I had in the mail um so today from book depository I finally got here we are now by Jasmine Warga in the mail basically this is all I know is it's another Jasmine Warga novel and I'm there basically I think it was 2015 she released my heart and other black holes which I loved so much it was one of my favorites of that year it's still a book that I really love and I really want to reread and I just love her writing so much and that was her debut so she's finally come out with something else and I pre-ordered this from Book Depository which I will not do again <laughs> definitely for pre-orders it's going to be Indigo because they actually come the day of release or early earlier um this came like two to three weeks later which I do like Book Depository but their timing isn't what I shop there for <laughs> but I'm really excited to have this and to get around to it and I honestly just got the paperback copy because it was ten dollars and that's better than paying 20 at indigo so yes <laughs> hello so it is the next day basically I finished hunting Prince Dracula late last night I really liked it actually it was a lot better than the first book so if you weren't the biggest fan of the first book then I definitely suggest picking up the second um, it was actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna give it like a 3.75 star. I actually just watched, I was thinking about what to read next and I was watching some videos on my phone because <laughs> what else do I do? Um, and I was watching Connor Frantz's new video so I thought, why don't I pick up his second book? Like just why not? So I think I might do that. I've read his first one and I loved it. So like maybe I just will just pick this up. Hey guys, so a reading update and a general update. Well, one, I cut my hair and I got my nails done yesterday. Yay. <laughs> um, but for a reading update, basically yesterday I said I was going to start Note to Self. And I'm over halfway through. I got over halfway through last night. So I'm really loving it. Like, it's been a while since I've been filled with so much joy while reading, to be honest. Like, just pure excitement. And that's what I feel with this book. And it's encouraged me to do... A lot of things that and appreciate some things and I'll talk about it more later but I just am really enjoying it so far so I'm in the same time like at the same time I'm not in a rush but at the same time I just want to read it and not do anything else <laughs> I have schoolwork to do though and like I was pretty bitter today <laughs> so we'll see what happens but this is what I'm currently reading and the emoji smile starts tomorrow so I do want to finish this well, if I don't, it's fine, um, but it would be cool to finish this today, or I can finish it for Emojiathon, and then Emojiathon's tomorrow, so that's going to be fun. Yay. Fun. Yay. Dylan helps host it. I love Dylan. He's such a boo. It was actually the Emojiathon, so I'm, I'm participating. It's fun. I'm excited about it. Um, I actually ended up finishing Note to Self today by Connor Ferranta. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed this. His other book I read too, A Work in Progress, but this one was so amazing. Like the other one was too. I give the other one five stars, oddly enough, because um, I never give books five stars. But this was beautiful. The writing was beautiful. The experiences, the way it was organized, the photos, the bits of poems. I think it, it by far is the best YouTube memoir. Just 
it's it's in like my top few like best memoirs I've ever read kind of thing like autobiography whatever um because he is only like 24 or something so he is still really young but you know I liked reading this and seeing his experiences it was beautiful it encouraged me to act on some things and to do some things so just in my personal life regarding friends family stuff like that so this made me really happy I gave it five stars I'm really happy about it guys you should read it. So I'm gonna use this for the challenge of read a book with, um, read for 30 minutes without touching your phone. So that one's down. The other one is, oh, read a book that features travel because he does talk about traveling and there is some like travel photography in here. So I'm counting that. So yeah, that's what the, that is. So this book applied two challenges. So that's good. And then for my current read, I'm actually currently listening to the audiobook of The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. I'm going to use this for the Fa La La La, -la audiobook challenge. Um, and then I'm, I don't know what else I'm going to use it for. If I can fit, you know, if I can fit it into anything else, um, I will. But yeah, so far I'm about an hour in. And I have about five hours left, so that's because I'm, well, I'm listening to it at double speed, so I have like two and a half hours left. But yeah, so far it's kind of weird, but we'll see where it goes. And it's actually like different narrators, which I've never listened to an audiobook that had more than one narrator, which is kind of weird, but I haven't. So let, I'm going to see how, where this story goes, but I'm super happy about this book. Hey guys, so it is Saturday. I actually just thought it was Sunday, so I was like, I need to film and edit this. And then I'm like, oh. It's Saturday. Okay, I'm good. Um, so, sorry, I'm trying to like get in frame. I'm like doing an awkward squat. Um, basically, for a reading update, um, I am currently reading The Smell of Other People's Houses, and I am over halfway. I am very near to the end. I have about an hour, I think, of the audiobook. So I'm excited to see where the story goes. It's definitely a lot different than I thought it'd be. And it's definitely really interesting, something that you really got to pay attention to. And I just, it's really powerful. It's just not what I thought. And for such a small book, it's already like packing a punch. So I'm interested to see where this goes. The cover is beautiful too. And it's from Book Outlet, so you can get it for cheap. Yay! Hey guys, it is Sunday, so this is the last day for this vlog. Um, we're wrapping up this past week, and I thought I'd just quickly tell you guys about my reading this week and stuff like that. So the first book I read this week was Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. This book was really fun. I ended up giving it four stars. Really love the setting. The characters definitely grew on me as opposed to the first book where I wasn't a huge fan. Um, it's definitely a big step up from the first book and it was a lot of fun and pretty entertaining. And I like the female lead and the little like feminist components that are in this story. So I gave that four stars. I also read Note to Self by Connor Franta, and I love this so much. I think it was amazing. Honestly, so, so good. The writing, the poetry, the pictures, the stories, the writing style, absolutely stunning. I gave it five stars. And last night I did end up finishing the audiobook of The Smell of Other People's Houses. This is for the uh, mini emoji readathon that's happening right now. And same um, Note to Self completed um read a book or like read for 60 minutes without touching your phone and the other challenge was read a book that features family because he does talk about like no read a book that features travel because it does have to do with travel and then the smell of other people's houses i read um i use this for the challenge of i uh, listen to an audiobook and read a book that deals with family because there was some, some like sibling relationships in this book basically this was really good this was really surprising i wish it was longer the writing was good the story was really interesting by the end of it though it really hits you hard so i ended up giving this solid four star that definitely suggests this and then i'm currently reading a book i'm about 35 percent of the way through it it is called the beat on ruby street by jenna zark this is a review copy that i'm currently reading um, i'm about 35 percent of the way through again and I'm honestly not liking it very much. The writing style really lacks. It's um, a lot of quotes from it are really bothering me. And I'm just personally not a fan at this point, but it is entertaining, if that makes sense. So like, it's amusing. <laughs> so I'm reading it. <laughs> Plus it's a review copy, so I should finish it. But yes, it's okay. I'm just kind of reading it for fun, but the writing style isn't anything special. And the story isn't 
great, but it's kind of entertaining. <laughs> So that's why I'm reading it. But that wraps up this week. Thank you guys so much. Um, it is Sunday. It's only like 4 p.m. But I want to edit this and get it up as soon as possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any requests for any other videos that you'd like to see in December, let me know in the comments because I am making a ton of videos in December. Wink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys all very soon with a new video. Bye. So you tell me